welcome back. So today I wanted to do a bag that I'm excited to wear for spring type video and this was definitely inspired by Emma Hill. I'm sure a lot of you already watch her anyway but she has a video series called clothing items I'm excited to wear ahead of each season and especially this year I found myself curating different types of colors and color palettes for seasons. I find that that just helps me kind of ingest a little bit of fun and spark ahead of each season instead of just wearing the same sorts of clothes um, year on year which I usually do in the past. This year for spring especially I've had my eyes set on a certain type of aesthetic that I find that it would be really exciting to pair with bags that I already own in my closet. I hope this video is helpful. This is not to say that the bags that I'm featuring today is not going to be suitable for all seasons. They definitely are in my opinion but these are just the bags that I found I think would go really well with the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for spring which is to ingest a little bit of color as you can see here today in this vest um, to my usual sort of beige, white and navy color palette. I'm trying to bring in some greens, some pinks and some browns and maybe some yellows as well um, for spring. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to get started. The first bag that I'm very excited to start wearing this spring, I've already actually worn it yesterday, is this Givenchy Pandora bag that I've had for actually six years now. I can't believe um, I'm saying this, but I bought this back in 2017 um, on sale actually at Harrods for the Boxing Day sale. And it's been my favorite for about two years. And then I have to be honest, I completely just sort of left it in the back burner for quite some time. I was more into structured bags and kind of smaller bags for quite a while. But this color, I'm just so happy and grateful that I kept in my closet. It's sort of a gray brown shade. And for all of these um, bags, I'm going to kind of run you through the features of the bag and why I love it, that kind of thing. Um, so it's a mini review in each of these bags being showcased as well. So. Yeah, this is the Givenchy Pandora bag, I don't know if I mo mentioned, in the goat skin leather. So as you can see here, there's some crumpled sort of texture going on in there as well. And this is in the size medium. I do believe that they are still doing this style of bag. I don't think it's as popular as it used to be, I guess, back in 2013 or something. But I just there's just something about the silhouette and the shape of how slouchy it is that I absolutely love about this bag. And I'm so glad that I kind of whipped it out again and I feel like this really goes with the color palettes that I'm going for for spring. I'm not really a pastels person I would say like maybe in the summertime I might wear some but it's not really the route that I usually go for. I do tend to stick with darker and more muted colors but this I feel like adds a bit of interest and kind of texture to it and I do think that the silver hardware that this bag has um, does lend itself to kind of lighten it up a little bit to feel a bit more like spring and the warmer seasons. So yeah, the features of the bag, big, big, giant pocket that goes all the way down here, as you can see. And then another zip pocket here um, that goes about this length of the bag. And then a small pocket over here that's really good for storing things like lip balm, as you can see over here. The way that I envision myself wearing this bag is going to be primarily over the shoulder like this. To be honest, when I first purchased it, I would tend to wear it as a crossbody bag like this, which I think is probably why I lost interest in it for a couple of years. But definitely wearing it over the shoulder like this in a slouchy sort of effortless vibe is definitely something that I'm trying to go for for the season. Wear and tear wise I really can't fault it but to have to caveat that that I haven't really been using this bag for the past three-ish years it's just been you know once or twice maybe per year so I can't really comment on that for the longevity of the bag but for the two years um, in the beginning when I first owned it I did use it very very often and I will say that it, because the leather is very forgiving in terms of the texture and also the color, I think wear and tear wise, it's very, very good. And I have to say that Givenchy's quality is definitely up there with one of the best that I've ever experienced. So yeah, this is the very first bag that I'm excited to use and the slouchy silhouette and the sort of oversized um, look is, is very complimentary to what I'm trying to aim for this season. The second bag that I'm very excited to use for spring um, is quite a new one, I guess. This is the Le Mer Croissant bag in the small size, and it's in a sort of teal blue 
color as you can see here so yeah again with the silver hardware i feel like there might be a bit of a trend with a silver cool toned hardware for spring and summertime i do think that it is a bit more lighter than a gold so that's kind of maybe what i tend to gravitate towards saying that i do have two bags of gold hardware but i do think that the hardware sometimes um does kind of complement the bag um in a nice way in a very nice subtle way this bag I particularly love because of the color. The shape of it obviously is something that I really love. I love a croissant bag, I love a croissant anything. And the bum bag shape that you can wear cross body, I feel like is just extremely versatile and useful. And in terms of your, the user experience day to day, it's very handy and it sits very close to your body, which I really like. And because the color is already in itself quite a pop of color, you can pair it with an array of different colors if you will i've worn this with a pink jumper i've worn it with this um for example to a trip in new york with a pink bucket hat so it's not really necessarily to say that you know the colors have to complement each other but this provides also a nice clash of color if that makes sense and it's something that i feel like you can't really go wrong if it's a sort of a more muted but still vibrant color um just go for any shade that you want really and yeah but anyway, this is the small size. Wear and tear wise, I have to say it is much more delicate than the Givenchy Pandora that I just showed. Mainly because I have already a hand sanitizer stain over here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. Oh, sorry. Excuse my nails. Um, but that is my fault. I shouldn't have dropped hand sanitizer on a goat skin or just a lamb skin bag like this. It is more delicate and that's what lends itself to this smooshy sort of soft shape. So I knew that going in, but it's maybe something that you might want to consider if you are um, a bit more careful about bags. This is definitely something that is a bit more high maintenance. But that being said, because the shape itself is so slouchy and it doesn't have any sort of hard ridging or edges, it's fine. Like, I don't think you'll get corner wear because of the shape of it and because it doesn't, it, nothing is jutting out to the point where it will put pressure on the leather. I think that for a lambskin leather bag, this is the most low maintenance type of shape that you can go for. I'm very, very excited to wear this, especially in the bum bag, sort of um, slingshot bag, banana bag, the row bag sort of shape. And this is just something that I find extremely handy and capacity wise, it's very, very generous as well. If you didn't know, this is the lining, uh, sort of a burlap hemp material. One giant pocket in the middle, I still have things in it, sorry. No sort of uh, zipper compartment or anything, which again, I feel like helps it being this shape. So this is one of my favorite bags, I think, in terms of newcomers. That's the second bag. And then third bag, I don't believe that browns should be just when the leaves are falling in autumn slash fall. I do think that it is... Something that provides a lot of warmth and dimension to a kind of pastel, lavender, even kind of traditionally spring outfit. This is the by far Amina bag, I believe, and it is one of my favorite contemporary designers by far. Is, And it's just a kind of half moon, quite simple shape. And it has silver hardware again, which I think is quite obvious at this point that I quite enjoy a silver hardware bag, especially for the warmer months. And then it has a little flat pocket in the back like this and this is in a suede goat skin material and it has two little sort of compartments over here which I'm not 100% sure what it's for it definitely helps with um, the shape but you can put you know for example hair ties and stuff in there and the strap drop on this I have to say is one of my favorite things about it a lot of the times I find shoulder bags to be a bit too close to the shoulder um armpit I mean and as a person who isn't very small <laughs> and I don't have the smallest armpit I guess in the world it's just not comfortable for something to sit this high up and especially if you're wearing you know long sleeves or slippery tops are slightly annoying you want to be able to clamp down on the bag which this one allows me to do which I really really love I just think that the details of this bag especially for being a contemporary designer I don't know if you can see it for being a contemporary designer is really really detailed and intricate and that's something that I really look for in a designer like this nowadays just because i feel like with the price increases and everything it's just not very enjoyable anymore for me to spend that much money on a bag that i haven't been wanting for years and years so you can maybe notice if you watch my other videos a lot of the bags that i've purchased in the recent two years is something that i've wanted for about five or six years already so i know that i want it i'm not really necessarily going for 
impulse or trend pieces anymore because it's just not enjoyable for me i want to be able to have longevity in these bags especially if i'm paying so much more money this is something that you know especially with the 90s and the y2k trend i think is something that is very high quality really timeless in terms of silhouette doesn't break the bank i believe i bought this for 130 pounds on sale so by far does a lot of sales especially on stockist websites so definitely check those out and i think quality wise it's unmatched you can see that the stitching for example on the finishing of this bag is immaculate you can't really see any sort of faults on this um and there's detail on the hardware as i just showed and there's just everything has been quite thought out especially for a bag that can be discounted to around 100 pounds that's definitely not cheap by any means i think this retails for about three or four hundred pounds but for in comparison to a luxury bag where the craftsmanship and the leather is kind of what you're looking for in those kinds of pieces I think you can still get quite similar if not the same in a brand like this so definitely check it out but by far obsession otherwise this bag itself I just feel like is very all seasons but especially for spring with light colored jeans a white t-shirt um, maybe some black shoes or something like that that could be really sort of an understated spring outfit aesthetic so that's something that I'm really excited to wear for spring as well so this is the by far bag the next bag that I want to showcase is a little bit of a different one I think a lot of the times when I think about spring or summer or the warmer months I'm thinking canvas bags lighter materials lighter colors but this bag has actually really surprised me in terms of its versatility in this spring and summer months especially spring so this is my Givenchy Antigona in the size small and this is in the smooth leather I think it's smooth calfskin leather yeah and it also has silver hardware as you can see surprise surprise and the wear and tear of this bag I have to say I bought this in 2021 and I only really started regularly using it last year um, so it sat on my shelf for about a year because I was too afraid to bang it into things because this is quite a structured stiff looking bag but I have to say, I have used it quite a bit, um, especially, you know, on day trips to Paris or something. And I have whacked it in multiple places and it has been completely fine. So quality wise, I again can't say enough good things. I know that I said the Givenchy Pandora is really good in terms of wear and tear because of its shape. But I have to say that the leather and the quality of the Antigona is also unmatched. It's just something that I really enjoy wearing on a day to day basis. And the reason why I'm excited to wear this for spring is that it provides a nice sort of contrast and juxtaposition to a more flowy outfit so if you're wearing long maxi midi dresses or if you're wearing sweater vests like i am today with maybe a pair of sandals with some socks um i know that's kind of polarizing but i love sandals with socks um something like that that can kind of provide a bit of a more utilitarian duffel bag look to the outfit and that's what i really like to do is just to play around with something that might be a little bit unexpected in the outfits that I tend to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. That's what I really like to play around with. So this is what I'm most excited to use the bag for, especially even with, you know, sort of more flowy jogger style suit pants, so suit trousers or longer lined jumpers, so crew neck sweaters that are all the way down um, almost to mid thigh area. That's sort of what I'm envisioning using this bag for. So yeah, this is my Givenchy Antigona in the smooth calfskin in black. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's pretty obvious that it's black, but yeah, this is actually one of my favorite bags. This is one of the bags that I mentioned that I wanted for five or six years before I bought. And yeah, it's there. you just can't go wrong when you've wanted something for this long and then you finally buy it. I love this bag. So yeah, this is my Givenchy Antigona. On to the bags that are more obviously marketed as spring summer bags so these are the lighter colored bags um if you haven't guessed already i am going on quite a lot of travels in april slash may and i'm very excited because i'm finally going back to china to hong kong to see my family after the pandemic started in 2020 i haven't been able to go visit my dad did come last november but it was the first time i've seen him in three years Rambling aside, I needed a bag that was big enough for me to travel to multiple different cities in Asia during the spring and I've really really been loving my Neverfull. This is the GM size and as you can see it has patinaed a little bit but it hasn't patinaed as much as 
I anticipated or would have hoped to be honest but this is good because I guess um, the longer you wear it the more it patinas but this has definitely been one of my favorite favorite travel bags of all time I would say like again I know that the Neverfull, a lot of people's opinions is that it is overplayed, um, over duplicated and basic, but I very much disagree. I do know that it's popular for a reason, it's copied for a reason, and I guess you wouldn't really know until you own one and use one how just how useful it is. I can't sing its praises enough. This is again the Neverfull GM in the Damier Azure print and I got it in the pink lining. So yeah, you can definitely tell that I'm sort of warming to the idea of pink. It's just one of my favorite bags, again, with the strap drop, very comfortable length. Clampable, which is really, really nice for me. And I do have a bag organizer for this, but I a lot of the times will travel back to my boyfriend's family's house um, a couple of hours away from London for a weekend or something like that. And I'll just pop all of my clothing bits in here with my makeup bag and all that and just carry it and not feel like I'm overloading it. and. It's something that I just really, really enjoy. And especially on long haul flights, you can put the things that, you know, you want organized in the bag organizer and then you can maybe lay a scarf on top of it and then all your essentials can go on a tiny little bag, maybe a belt bag or something on the very top so that it's easily accessible under your feet. So yeah, I've used this on so many flights and so many travels and so many weekend trips that I just absolutely love this. I don't I don't think I've ever used this on an everyday basis, you know, just carting it around day to day, but I am kind of looking forward to using this this spring for travel and actually for work. I feel like, especially cinched in to the sides like this, um, I could just throw in quite easily my laptop and things like that that I would need for work and go around because it's such a comfortable strap length and it's such a comfortable bag to wear. It's very malleable that I feel like even on public transport, and this was one of the things that I was worried about was that it was going to be too bulky for public transport. It's not, I don't think. So I'm quite excited to also use this for work. So this isn't in terms of aesthetic and outfits wise, something that I'm planning my outfits around, I would say, but I think just usability, how well it has worn. I just can't believe that there's there's not even a single scuff mark on this and I've been using it quite regularly on travels for about a year now and there's literally just nothing on it. I was quite, you know, worried about color transfer, wears and tears and all that kind of thing when I first purchased this bag, but there has been nothing at all. Just nothing at all. <laughs> for a light colored bag, it hasn't been high maintenance whatsoever for me. One of my favorite bags ever, I think, of all time that I'm excited to wear for this season as well. And then last but not least, I think this might be a little bit of a rogue one, especially for people who aren't familiar with this brand. I definitely have been a new converted uh, fan of this brand and it's called Stony Clover Lane. And this is the bag that I'm talking about. This is called the Jumbo Fanny Pack and it is made out of nylon, as you can see see here. I wouldn't classify this as high luxury. I would say that it's around a, a maybe a level lower or the same as the by far bag that I'm speaking about. But in terms of bags that I'm interested and excited to wear for spring, this is definitely a key one. As I mentioned just now, I am going on quite a bit of travels, especially to tropical places and, you know, maybe theme parks with my little sister, which I'm very excited about. And I just wanted a carefree very no fuss bag and I wanted also a lighter colored bag which I am not about to spend three or four thousand pounds on a white luxury luxury bag so I wanted something to kind of dip my toes in the water for and this is the stony clover one and I'm so pleasantly surprised with the quality of this bag I just didn't think you know, this is one of those, if you are into Stony Clover or Disney, I think they, yeah, because they do a lot of collaborations with uh, Disney as a brand as well. And that's how I actually first heard about them. But I just didn't know if the quality was 100% going to be there. Zipper pull is very nice quality. Capacity wise, it is extremely large, but it doesn't feel bulky when it's on the body. The clasp of this really is very, very um, satisfying, as you can hear. It's so nice um, and the strap length is extremely easy to adjust so you can see here that I'm just easily pulling this through but it doesn't budge when there's weight put on it which I find extremely difficult to find in bags sometimes but yeah I'm going on quite a lot of casual trips especially trips uh, in Asia where you are walking around in very very hot weather you probably need to set your bag in the sand or something like that so I'm excited about this and this is the 
probably the beginning of my white bag obsession because I just cannot believe how many outfits I'm able to pair with a simple white bag and it's not as delicate as one would think and the way that I justify it in my head is that white trainers is basically a staple in um, people's wardrobes nowadays and we're okay wearing white on our feet in the ground but why have I taken so long to turn around to white bags but yeah, I'm definitely very excited to wear this and this again can pair with pretty much anything even darker outfits because the other day I wore it with um, a very dark green sweater and it was completely fine so this is a stony clover jumbo fanny pack and now I'm definitely sort of gearing into the brand now I want to speak about the bags that I in years past have been very very excited and would tend to wear regularly during spring and summer months or the hotter months why I'm not necessarily going to reach for them too much this year and what I might want to do to rectify that so you might have noticed in the corner these two bags the first one it kind of pains me a little bit to say but it's my Loewe puzzle bag this is my beautiful beautiful Loewe bag I still absolutely love this bag and I want to use it a lot but I think the issue that I have with it at the moment is the strap so the strap right now it is quite long and it's also quite thin and it's not something that I personally gravitate towards anymore just because I'm really really changing I guess in terms of my style to really preferring shoulder bags that are slouchier or top handle bags or if I'm going to wear a crossbody bag, I would like it to be more of a bum bag style, so across the chest like this. I feel like it really helps with adding the dimension and having a crossbody bag around my hip area just isn't really suitable for my aesthetic currently. However, I love this bag so much that I'm actually considering purchasing a shorter Loewe kind of webbed strap. I'll put a picture of this um, in the side, but that will first of all shorten the length of it widen the width of the strap across the body so that it provides a bit more dimension and also sort of hoiks it up a little bit here so that it could be more of a fanny pack style I guess like so basically what I really am gravitate, gravitating towards lately is bags that are flatter and more closer to the body and I think at the moment I'm just struggling a little bit with this bag I still love this bag, I'm never going to knock this bag at all, but I think just right now for my personal aesthetic, maybe I just overwore it in the years past and I've gotten a bit sick of how it looks. So what I want to do is just kind of zhuzh it up a little bit and change up the accessories or the accompaniments with the bag so that I can get more use out of it. So I'm definitely determined to keep using this in the spring, but right now I'm not super excited because I feel like I've hit a little bit of a barrier in terms of how it can suit my style. And then the second one is this one. So my Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton Noe BB bag, this one is, and it's the same issue that I have with the Loewe bag. That's this is pretty much me justifying me purchasing a 450 pound bag strap but I feel like this paired with a shorter strap as well so that it can sit higher up on the body will be really beneficial for me as you can see right now this strap is quite long I'm not going to clasp it because it's going to take a while but you can see how long it is so even on the shortest setting it will still be here and I would ideally like it to be around here so that is another thing that I'm struggling with just just on the strap length again I'm not going to obviously get rid of the straps I think in a couple of years I'll probably come full circle just like fashion moments do and really prefer the longer and thinner straps but for right now I think just to add a bit of interest and make it a bit more relevant to the right now what I prefer uh, in terms of style and everything I think getting a shorter strap would be what would make me excited to wear these two bags that have always always been traditionally a staple in terms of the spring and summer months for me these are always the bags that I look forward to using pulling out of my closet all the time um, for those years prior but I think again this year my list of six bags I just am looking forward to using a bit more than these two but I'm determined to put them into rotation and hopefully I can achieve that by doing a bag strap and then maybe I can film a video on how that changes the look so you can kind of see a comparison if you're interested in that as well. Um, my dog is doing a stretch and that's my cue. Um, that is everything for today's video. 
hopefully this was useful in terms of how you are looking forward to pair your bags with the aesthetic and the outfits that you are looking forward to wear in the springtime or summertime again this isn't to say that these bags are only appropriate for this season these are just the bags specifically because of the color the silhouette and the sort of shape that i'm most excited to use this spring yeah hope that was helpful if you have any questions at all let me know and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye